If you like to see what I have done on the Mary Jane since last week, stay with me. Hello and welcome to another video from Double Ship Modeler. My name is John, as you know. This is already part 4 from the build of the Mary Jane from Artesina Latina. And as I promise, I don't, uh, don't want to give any light comment, directly going to the build.
Okay, so I'm really sorry that you have to listen f to my voice uh, a few minutes because I have to explain something. Since there are unfortunately some uh, little video parts are missing because of my imported video cam, it's made of the uh, in the Republic of China. Uh, anyway, it helps me a lot because I don't need any more my laptop, so I'm more independent to make my videos. Anyway. Uh, beside this, uh, what is missing on the um, video parts is where I installed the uh, rubbing board or plank or whatever you call it there on the side, left and right. Uh, I put a hole 0.5 millimeter each 1.5 centimeter because for me it was uh, good looking. So anyway, uh, I forgot to look in the instruction and stupid as I am. This will be covered up by a uh, 2x2 two two millimeter uh, walnut plank, uh, what also called rubbing wood or plank or whatever. Anyway, uh, sometimes I also make little mistakes. It's not really mistakes because this will all covered up. Okay, what I want to say to and what is important, uh, what is also not included, uh, I uh, painted the complete hull uh, with uh, sanding sealer, sealer twice. Uh, then I sanded the complete hull with uh, 60 grit sand paper so that everything is smooth and flush and uh, there are no humps and uh, whatever holes and uh, so ever. I also put very small amounts of putty on the edges so that it gives a uh, more and more smooth uh, transition between the planks and the keel. Uh, as you can see that's really very small amount. I, ut uh, I used uh, Tamiya basic putty if you are asked what I used. And after this I sanded the complete hull with a 120 grit sandpaper. Then I put uh, again a uh, sanding sealant and then I smoothed everything out with a 400 grit sandpaper. Now this is all finished for priming. Priming because uh, I don't want to soak the paint in the wood. Uh, I will try to rough this a little bit up with a hard toothpaste so that the wood grain will come back a little bit but the client for whom I made this uh, uh, kit likes a very clean and uh, brand new shape so that's why I smooth everything out. Uh, what I also did uh, drilling and making all the holes that are needed there are the uh, square rectangular holes there on the side where the water comes out after a storm uh, the hole there in front where the anchor chain is going through and the roller. There's another hole, don't really ask me, I think that's for the ropes uh, going through to put it on the pier. And also there on the back. Um, you see a bigger hole for the rudder. It does not really matter how big it is if it's not uh, continuous over the whole deck. Uh, it was a little bit bigger than uh, it needed, let me say that it needed, but to align the rudder very exactly to the uh, keel I had to make some adjustments so that's why the hole is a little bit bigger than it's needed. Uh, anyway this will all cover it up with deck planks and there's another uh, walnut uh, piece what uh, covered up this thing uh, so it really doesn't matter. You also see that I not yet uh, planked the deck that's because as I said before I want to prime all this wood and uh, then I paint it so that I do not have to tape the whole deck. Uh, first I prime it and I paint it and then I will uh, uh, make the deck planking. For the measurements on the stern and also the hole on the uh, front, I made a separate, uh, separate picture with the measurements included. 
and I also have to revise my comment on I believe it's part one or uh, on the unboxing uh, where I said that uh, the instructions of Artesina Latina are always uh, very good and nothing to question about and straightforward. Uh, in this case I really don't know why uh, a lot of things in this uh, kit are really not explained, there are no uh, picture coverage and no measurements and what's whatsoever, excuse me, and whatsoever. So if you do not have any experience in building a ship model, you may will encounter some little, small or medium size uh, problems, like as an example, the stern, I forgot to tell you before. What I really don't understand that the plywood part w uh, is above the deck has a half round edge. What really does not explain to me anything uh, because the angle of the fault keel, so there you have to put this uh, uh, plywood part below the deck line, what you have to install before, uh, has the same angle like the uh, plywood strips you put above the deck. So if you continue this line, this is one straight line. So I really don't know why you have to make a step and also a counterclockwise uh, uh, curve compares to the deck line and it's counter, counter this. I really don't know and uh, it really looks, looks not good for me. So what I did, uh, I made this one line and uh, put some 0.6 mm by 5 mm wood strips. What I have left over from other uh, model kits, these small uh, and thin uh, deck planks, I put in this uh, vertical uh, uh, vise uh, on the stern and for me that looks more uh, natural or more logic than uh, what is not really explained in the instruction. If you make it like this or you will uh, make your own style, that's up on you. For me that was the most logic uh, solution for this problem or whatever you want to call it or what is, what is, what's not really explained. And there's also another funny thing uh, that's all the opens for the deck hatches and I checked the, the instruction and the instruction said that uh, after you finish the deck planking you have to make some uh, walnut framing inside these holes and what is also really absolutely useless for me because all the holes will cover it up with the deck, hatch, the deck hatches and uh, so you do not see any more this uh, framing so I don't know why they suggest it or whatever. It's also up on you. Maybe you will not put the deck hatches on it. You will only left uh, the openings. That's up on you. But if you want to put the deck hatches on it, uh, this is also a useless job what is not needed. So anyway, so uh, it's now finished uh, for priming as I said before and now I will prime this whole thing and uh, then I will paint the inside and then I will continue uh, with planking the deck and uh, let me stop my comment here and let's continue the joy of building this Meridian kit
that's again from the uh, update number four from the Mary Jane. And as usual, I hope you like it. Uh, as no, if not, or uh, if you have any suggestions, put it in the comment box. Otherwise, if you like, like, share and subscribe. And have a great day and enjoy your hobby.